In this video, I'm going to talk about um, the resolution of our images. Uh, you may not have noticed it before, but often uh, the figures we've been producing in Matplotlib are, are low resolution. And uh, sometimes that matters more when we're making maps and we want it to look high quality. And so the thing we want to do to make it high resolution is to change the dots per inch or DPI. Um, it's very similar to this other notion of pixels per inch. Some people even use these interchangeably. Really what we're interested in is in an inch of a monitor or either an image, um, how many different uh, kind of color points can we fit across? Okay, so I'm gonna head back over here and, uh, and this was the same example from last time. Um, and, uh, and what I can do here is I can look at uh, the figure that I have from this. If I say fig equals ax.get figure, right? So the figure is the thing that contains the axes uh, subplot. Um, I can take a look at the DPI of that image, and I can see it's 72, which is relatively um, low resolution. And it's probably hard to see in this, but this is not a great quality image. So what I can do when I'm saving this figure is I can set what that is. So let me save two versions of this. I'll say, um, you know, figure.save figure. Uh, and then let me just take a, a quick look at this. So I'll have a high resolution PNG. And uh, actually, let me think. I, I'm spelling this wrong. Save fig. There we go. And um, and I can specify what the DPI is. So for the DPI, the high one, maybe I'll say um, I want to have 300 uh, dots per inch. And the other thing we have to do is um, when this resizing happens, it's easy for more white space to creep back into the image. And so what I would like to do is to say, um, let's trim that space around it. So I'm going to say bbox inches equals tight. And, uh, and let me run that. I'm going to create another version, which is um, small. So this time, or, or poor resolution, but this time I'm going to say low like this. I'm going to create these two versions. OK, great. And so it created those. If I head back over here, um, I can see that I have my um, high and low uh, quality images. If, if I open up the high one, we're going to see that it's very large, so it's not quite a fair comparison. So what I'm going to do to show these side by side is I'm going to put them both in my notebook uh, with the same width. So what I'll do is I'll say I'll import, um, uh, let me think, I need to say from ipython dot, uh, core dot display import image. Okay. And so let me take a look at that high quality image. So I'll say high.png, which is very large. So let me let me kind of shrink down the width on this. So I'll say this one is width of 600, kind of a reasonable sized image. And then let me grab the other one, which is uh, low quality. And look at these side by side. Um, and it might be hard to see over the YouTube video, but at least uh, for me, this first one is much sharper and crisper, and it especially shows off for uh, these plus symbols. So anyway, uh, if you're just trying to quickly explore the data, maybe it doesn't matter, but if you want to have a very high quality graphic for maybe a, a PowerPoint or a poster, especially with these maps, you could imagine um, kind of printing large posters that you know multiple feet across, you'll definitely want to crank up the, the DPI when you're saving it.